Vinyl plank flooring transition strips. Now, what's the best way to cut these when you got to do those tricky right angles all the way around the fireplace? In this video, I'm going to walk you through it. Now, the short answer, of course, is you use a saw, you set it at a 45, choppity choppity chop, everything lines up perfectly, and we live happily ever after. But that's just not realistic here. So let's go ahead and walk this through how anybody could go ahead and do this. But I do want you to improvise some of the tools I'm using because I am a trained professional. I know what I'm doing. You are probably not as good as me. So let's go ahead and swap out the tools. But don't worry, I'm going to tell you what to use. You're going to be phenomenal at this. you got this in the bag here. So first things first, we're going to line up a couple pieces because we want to go ahead and get these angles set up just right so we can go ahead and secure them to the floor. And that's the other thing we're going to cover. How do you actually secure these to the floor so they're not going to pop back out? So we got a little notch over here at the beginning. So we're going to use a pair of tin snips. Nice and easy for cutting these vinyl plank reducers. And we're going to go ahead and line this up here. All right, so we got our first piece set up. Life is good. Now we're going to overlap this piece. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the camera on it. Look at that. Okay, cool, cool. Got everything overlapping. Now we want to get it lined up so we could cut that perfectly. And then once they're cut, they're going to line up nice and clean and crisp. And we're going to get that check. So next, I'm going to break out my blade. And we're going to use a blade as a straight edge. That is, I am going to use a blade as a straight edge. You should probably use an actual straight edge or something. Now we're going to line that up there from corner to corner. That's a nice straight edge right there. Now I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to go ahead and trace the blade. This is going to give me a nice straight line in this reducer here. So I know exactly where to cut it. We just want to score it a few times. And then once we have that line marked in there, we're going to take the pair of tin snips and give it a little starter cut. Stick with me. I'll show you what's good on this. So score it, you know, two, three, four times, whatever it takes to get that line. You see that line in there? Then we're going to take the tin snips. And we're going to cut into that just a little bit. And then we're going to flip it around and we're going to cut into this side just a little bit. Now, the reason we're doing these little starter cuts on it with the tin snips is that it's real easy to make it snap off like that. Watch this. Kapow. But we have a small problem. We got a little bit of bark on the tree still. We got to get rid of that bark there. Otherwise, that's going to be one ugly scene. So we're going to take our tin snips, clip off that bark, and then we're going to take our knife and we're going to shave the exposed white part of the vinyl there. So we want to cut it so that when it's lined up, you just see the actual color side and not any of that bark on the tree because that would be one ugly transition point there. So let's go ahead and shave that down at an angle just a little bit. Once again, don't use carpet blades for this. Use a utility knife. Take your time and do not lob your hand off. Use at your own discretion here. So we're going to take our time shaving that, a little off this side, a little off that side, making sure everything's clean and crisp. Once again, I am a professional installer here, so you know me. I am already cut myself thousands of times. You don't want to join that party there. You're way better than that. All right, edges are good. Look at me a little more. Yeah, let's shave just a little bit more. Stick with me here because we're going to line it up here, show you how to get the other piece, and then get this secured so everything's good. Look at my camera work here too, by the way. Phenomenal angle. Just The whole thing leaves the scene, and then it shows up perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and get this down on top of this other piece. Cool, cool. Now we're going to go ahead and line it up all the way across because once it's lined up, we know exactly where we need to cut it. So in theory, we're lined up. Good to go. I'm going to take that blade, and we're going to go ahead and trace this side now. And then some magic foot comes into the camera shot, too, and holds it down for me. That's dope when that happens. I don't know if you'll have that at your crib, but on this job site, I had that available to me. So we're tracing this out right here now. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. We score it, you know, two, three, four, five, ten times. Once we scored it a handful of times, we're going to break out the tent snips, put a couple starter cuts in it, snap it off, and we're going to shave the bark off of that side as well. Look at that good score line in there. Life is good. Little snip there, little snip there. Maybe one more. Why not? The reason we don't cut all the way through it, though, is you could bend this transition strip, and then it'll be just hot disaster. Those things are $30 a pop. You know, you could only mess up so much before you go broke on a job site, so we don't want that to happen. Now we're going to clip this side just a little bit little more okay that looks perfect let's snap it off put that muddy mite into it okay cool cool now we're going to go ahead and clip the bark off of that tree try to get you a better camera angle on this time you know we learned our lessons on our first round all right bring the knife into play shave that bark off the tree just a little bit off of each edge everything's cool don't you go anywhere because you want to see the final product. It's going to look good. It's going to help you succeed. Shaving it off. Yeah, shaving it off. All right. That's about as much as I could draw that out there. 
Now clip a little more off of this side, a little more off of this side, and then let's go ahead and get this lined up now. All right, so we're gonna bring this in the scene here. Make sure we got any loose chips pulled off of there because that's just gonna ugly up that scene. Line it up, look at it. Is it, are we good? Are we jiggling? I think we might be jiggling on this one. Oh, 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 get that little notch area we cut out lined up. That's there, that's there, all right. That is absolute butamous. Now you could glue this into place. You could use the tracks. I'm not a fan of the tracks because they tend to snap fairly quickly there. So we're just gonna go ahead and line this up and we're gonna drop some finish nails right through this bad boy. Yeah, we want results here. So we're gonna use one inch finish nails. And if you don't have the brad nail gun, we're just gonna go old school with it here. Break those out, drive it right through that vinyl transition there. Hold that corner into place. And then from there, we can wrap around to the other side and start that edge. Tap, 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 tap. And this is a little bit tricky here because it, the nails love to bend if you don't have the brad gun. But we're doing this oh so DIY friendly here. You know what I'm saying? Smack it with a hammer a bunch of times, drive it home, and bam, we're good to go. Now we want to make sure this is lined up perfectly. See how we got that there? We're going to go ahead and line that up. And then once we drop that nail in, we're going to hit it until that seam lines up in a nice clean fashion once it's lined all the way up yeah smack it with a hammer that'll make any ugliness go away and strap that nail on and line up that seam that's all there is to it now you are a professional vinyl plank flooring installer do the same on the other side you'll be cashing them checks in no time